Okay, I'm back and this is the part 2. I have to do this in parts. So, in the previous part we have seen <coughs> the installation of VMware Oracle Linux 7 and as you can see here it has completed and waiting for reboot. So I'm going to click on reboot and let it restart. So you can do in two ways either you can create two virtual machines for node 1 and node 2 or you can create node 1 and clone it for node 2 which I am going to do it it will save your time and set up so I am going to configure everything most of the things on node 1 I am going to create yum server or node 1 and install rpms and set up my Oracle Linux for database 11g or 2 so once it is started click on license information accept the license agreement and click done and network host it's already set up you can create use the year itself or it will ask you once you reboot finish the configuration and it will restart again ok it's, it's starting up so I'll wait for it by the way if uh, anyone have any doubt regarding the IP address how I am giving the IP address 192.168.1.160 so you can go in the search bar and type VI virtual network adapter and right click that run as admin click yes to open as you can see here there is a NAT interface so if you click on NAT setting you can change the IP address right you can click here NAT setting here you just basically need to set subnet IP address over here below I can change that to any IP address okay if for example if you want to set an IP address for 15 so just set that IP address it will be replicated on the subnet address over here plus over here as well once you set and apply it so I'm not going to do that because my virtual machines are already set up with the 192.168.1.1 network so I'm going to apply it and exit out of that ok you click next click next I'm going to type my nearby city select your region and city skip create an account or name I'm going to give test later I'll release that release delete that account it's, mm, I'm very sleepy still recording okay once you create an account it will let you start use your likes okay great our Linux machine is installed and ready to use let's confirm the Ethernet cards whether they are booting up not or not 3.3 is online 3.4 is online as well okay let's right click and open your terminal give a command called ifconfig it will show the IP addresses 
I have an IP address of 1.160 and 0 0.160 both are different close it click on test logout logout right okay then once it is logout click on not listed access with root root.1234 the password or provide new password whichever you have given okay right click on genome initial setup on top bar and quit it will keep pop up, popping up as soon as you log in I don't know how to disable that it's very irritating okay as you can see there is no entry in our host file but uh, if you go and see host name mm -hmm. host name is rack1.akra.com and let's see if this sc linux is enabled or disabled cat etc sysconfig sc linux okay it's, it's enabled and enforcing so let's change that vi is forward slash etc sysconfig sc linux go to that line click i to insert backslash to delete the text and type disabled escape to get out of in insert mode control shift shift plus colon w q and colon exit save and exit now check that again sysconfig sc linux it's disabled right let's see if our ip tables are active so this ip table status seems it's not there but still let's confirm config ip tables off error we don't have ip tables rpm hyphen ua okay clear now let's configure our yum so that we can configure once you re reboot it the iso file will be dismounted so on the lower bar on right hand side on the bottom you can see disk icon which is grayed out right click on that and click connect once you connect it you will see oracle linux dvd on your desktop cancel this and change your directory to cd forward slash run media root oracle linux enter ls to list content okay the, the packages contains the rpms from oracle linux dvd so we going to copy this to another another partition to copy folder with the content of the folder type cp hyphen rpp which will show the process of transferring the files use u02 oh sorry cancel that and type the package folder name 
packages forward slash is the destination u02 u02 forward slash there you go it will take some time depending on the rpms in that folder Won't take that longer. Okay. Meanwhile, we can open another terminal and change our directory to cd etc slash yum dot repo dot repos dot t ls to list contain cp public but report to my repo my repo dot repo that's the extension so once you again check the confirm the file creation ls you can see the you have copied successfully the file content from public dot public hyphen yum hyphen ol 7 dot repo to my repo dot repo so i'm going to take a backup of this public file mv public public dot backup list ls to list content i have successfully replaced that to backup now you can edit the file my repo dot repo vi my repo dot repo okay you can delete all these lines by holding d keep holding until you see all those lines are deleted and you can individually click on d to delete them keep this enabled one in gpg check replace that with zero delete this line and here you need to mention location of that packages in u02 so i'm going to type here file colon forward slash forward slash forward slash u02 forward slash packages and replace this line with my repo my repo replace this as well my repo escape shift col shift colon wq col save create repo destination of that packages press enter okay once it is tr transferred exit out of that dvd eject this let it load it is going to span that rpms and Oh, I forgot the command. But anyways, let it do. Okay, let's yum clean all yum repo list. Okay you can try this command to see if yum repo is working yum search oracle if you see the result like this that means your repo is configured 
okay i got the knock i'm going to pause this